everybody Ann here, sitting here in the tiny house, having my coffee. I got some muffins going in the oven on top of the wood-burning stove. I'll show you that in a bit. I got to go into town today, and I'm just hoping that that truck starts. Just please let it start. <laughs> Close. <sighs> I know, Judy. It's okay. We'll get it started eventually. Yep. <sighs> Come on, please start. Please. <sighs> Dear Heavenly Father, I don't want to go into town. I have to go into town. I got to pick up some stuff from the post office. Um, what's Judy be doing back there? Please just let this start. Whew. I know it's going to start eventually. I have faith that it's going to start eventually. Let's give it a try. Well, well, well. <laughs> All it takes is a little prayer. All right, I'm gonna show you where the little sound is coming from. It's not, it's got a little bit of sound. All right, let me pop the hood. Okay, now, it's not making the sound very bad right now, but it is coming from, see that thing that's going around right there? That's where it's coming from. That thing right there. It goes away eventually. Normally, it's chirping pretty loud when I first started. 
but that's where it's coming from, right there, that thing that's going around with the belt on it. Well, I made it to town and I made it back. The truck runs great. That's why I think it's either the tensioner pulley or the serpentine belt that goes around it or both. The belt actually looks okay to me. So I need to get that checked out very soon, very soon. But um, I had kept the last two muffins. I ate four of them. Oh my gosh, they're small. They're small muffins and they're chocolate chips. So I couldn't share them with Judy but I kept them in the oven and it kept them nice and warm. And so while I was in town at the post office, I picked up two things. One of them is this beautiful, beautiful card. This comes from Jeanette P. And she wrote me a lovely, lovely note. And thank you, thank you so much for the donation inside. It's definitely gonna come in handy, absolutely. And happy Thanksgiving to you, Jeanette. Thank you so very much. And then I got another letter. I'm not gonna read you the whole thing. And it is from Terry H. from Florida. And she wrote me, it's three pages long, a beautiful letter. It. Uh, she explained that she's new to the channel and she's catching up on my earlier videos and she explains the way that she found me is by reading comments on a channel called Serene and Simple Life. Yes, I watched her channel. Um, her name is Linda. The lady has been living in her car SUV for about 15 months and she is uh, currently in Tennessee looking for a piece of property and then she outlines some of her ideas and whatnot and maybe she could come park her rib uh rig rib rig on my property and see if she likes it out here and that would be great so linda if you are watching just reach out to me my email address is on my um about page and um just see, I know that there's there's property out here. Um, it's all pretty rugged property, but uh, my friend Lena from Red Road Homestead, she has, well, she has a shed to house. Hers is finished on the inside and it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful on the inside. She's got wood and everything and that's eventually how I wanna do mine. But she got electricity and I didn't think that they would hook electricity up to one of these little you know, shed to house, shed to cabin things, but um, she just got it hooked up out there, so I guess they installed a pole and everything, and so I guess you can have electricity. So um, the street that I live on, there's no running, there's no piped in water, there's no city water. Um, mine does not have a well, but there are other properties in the area that do, do have wells. Um, many of them don't have septic, some of them do very rarely. Um, the terrain out here is not very developed, but some of the lots are kind of semi-cleared, so maybe to get you started a little bit. Um, so all you have to do is look up the West Tennessee Landman on Facebook and get in contact with them, and they can give you an idea of what's available. Um, I don't know if there's any more property available on this street. I, I think that there is a lot available, but I don't think it's being sold by West Tennessee Landman. I'm going to have to look into that. So, um, yeah, look him up. That's how Lena and I met um, through, you know, the West Tennessee Landman. Basically, I recommended him to her. She bought land and she's working her butt off with her grandson out there. And they've, uh, between the two of them and the rest of her family that's come down to help her, they have done so much with their property. So it's definitely doable, Linda. West Tennessee Landman, just look them up. Contact me and if I can be instrumental in helping you get set up out here. But remember, it's um, it's country. It Most of it is remote. In fact, my lot is one of the least remote lots that there is. And, um, you know, you might see all kinds of different properties and structures, you know, when you're looking. Um, many people do live in those structures, believe it or not, they do. And they're quite happy living in them. 
Um, so don't be, don't be too worried if you see trailers and campers that maybe don't look brand new or whatever. You know, people are just doing the best they can and, um, they love their lives. Um, I, I know many people who have bought land through West Tennessee Landman and their properties are rustic and, um, they're, they're doing great. They're just living off the land. They are, uh, many of them are doing off grid like I am. Some are not. Uh, many of them use generators. Um, but it's a great group of people who want to come out here and not have to suffer too many codes and too many restrictions and just be able to build their properties up and build their lives up a little bit by little, just like I am. So, um, yes, thank you. Thank you so much for reaching out to me, Terry. I love your letter was just so sweet. And you know what? If this is your dream, you can have it too. You absolutely can have it too. So, I don't know what else I'm going to get done today. I do know that I need to figure out some stuff for the stuff that's still growing so that the chickens don't get into it because I want to be able to still harvest some of it. I may contact Cody and see if he can contact um, his mother-in-law and see if it's okay for me to maybe try and chop down some of that bamboo so I can stick that in the, in the what you call it, the uh, buckets and put some of that netting over it and attach it somehow so the chickens can't get in and eat my turnips, eat my onions and eat my chives because those are still very important to me. So I'm just going to get that going and, and see what I can do. I'm still just feeling really tired. I've had sort of like a stomach intestinal, intestinal, intestinal thing going on. Um, and I'm out of my my reflux medicine so I hate it when that happens so I'm going to be able to get some of that now though anyhow let's get this day going I made it to Cody and Hannah's bamboo patch they've already cleared it with uh, Hannah's parents that I chopped down some of it so look at all that bamboo you guys it goes way way back I don't think I can film this and chop at the same time so I'm just going to chop a bunch down and see how much I can get I think that's sufficient for today. Took it all down with the Fiskars. X11 worked great. I just need to get all the leaves off of it. And I think I'm going to do that with the machete. There we go. I just need to come down a little bit shorter to make the right size stakes. Put that on the compost heap. Yeah, got me some garden stakes. I didn't do that great of a job, but you know what? It works. I didn't want to tie it too tight because I didn't want it to get pulled down and get holes in them. And I just did all these like this. And then I put these three together. And guess who came to visit me? Say hi, everybody! Hi. What you guys been up to? Nothing much. How you like your new place? We loving it. You loving it? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go look at the other side. And then I put these two together. So hopefully the chickens will not eat it all up and I can just water it right through the top. All right. What do you guys think? Looks yeah, I good. think it looks good. So you coming over for Thanksgiving? Yes. Right on, right on. You can tell your mom. She can come over and your mom and dad and your sister mm -hmm. if they want to. I mean, they can. Yeah. Right on. I think that's about all I'm going to get done for today. I'm just going to chill out for the rest of the day. I don't know. I might try and process some more wood maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Cody and Hannah are next door visiting with Uncle Jerry. So if they come back, maybe I can get Cody to chop me up some wood. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.